Hi, welcome to product review by Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. In this video, I'm going to do the review of this Elm Disk Disk A4 3500 milliwatt laser engraver machine. I'm going to show you the full assembly step by step. Then I'm going to show you how to download and set up the driver and software. After that, I'm going to show you how to set up and prepare it for first engrave or printing on a plywood. I'm going to show you multiple examples of engraving and printing on plywood and paper. Let's get started with this. You can get the data sheet and other files related to this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. Banggood has sent me this Elm Disk Disk A4 3500 milliwatt or 3.5 watt laser engraver. This is the price at the moment. Banggood has sent me for review. The product page has full detail and explanation, a link to the manual, and also the software and everything. As you can see here, you can do that on, on leather, on paper, on even fruit. The software that they provide is ready to work with Windows. I hope that it will work also with older versions. Here are some of the examples that I did and here are some of the examples that I've done. This have been engraved either faster or with one shot and we don't see much engraving. When you touch it you will feel some engraving but not much but if you increase the time or you go multiple times then this is very deep. It's, I don't know if you can see it, but it is really engraved. And when you touch it, you feel this is in Chinese. This is a love word. This has been engraved with higher power or slower. So what you do is when you beam the laser, if you give it more time, it will burn more. And so either you slow it down or you go once and then twice or three times. So when you go, this has been like three or four times and it has been very bright. And this is Arabic calligraphy. It says all praise be to God or Allah. This has been done with a little faster speed. You feel some engraving but not much because it doesn't look that dark. This image, this is the result because of the variation in color and also the complexity of the image. This is the result with very faster speed on this type of plywood. And this is a little slower or maybe multiple times so it's small bold. This is a 3.2 inch TFT LCD screen based on ESP32. This has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and can be programmed with Arduino IDE. The product is from Maker Fabs and it has built-in camera. You can play simple games, you can display text and you can use full features of ESP32. I have an introduction video for this product. The link is below the video in the description. If you want to purchase the product from makerfabs.com, the link is also below this video. This is the package that I received. And here, this car 4, it says scan. I just cut it to get nicely packed. Position of all components. Very nice. So, first thing, we got a protected glass. All bearings. USB C cable. Driving belt. Laser cut components. Stepper motor, two of them. Hardware with a hex key, two hex keys. Standoff, everything, all the hardware is here. So CCTV and LED adapter. Huh. Very light, it's 100 volts to 240 volts AC. And output is 12 volts, two ampere. These are two aluminum cut pieces main control ELM disk oh, 
cables for stepper motor and organizer. So this is the laser beam. Okay, let's get started. So let's first remove all these pa papers from these. Now they are ready. First, let's open this bag. Remove the papers. One from this, one from this one. This is five millimeter, this is three millimeter. Both of these are 12 millimeter long. This M3 nut. So from one side, it. I've made four of these, four of these, and I have four of these five by 12 millimeter screws. Now we get this and get this one, two of this from here, three by eight in here. So we'll insert the screws in here and in here. Insert one and then put this, insert the other one. Four pieces of three by eight. This piece, stepper motor, and this one. There is two, one long, one short. Get the short one like that. Make sure that this interface is this side, not like that. So it should be that way and insert these. That side, you see this? Insert it, this to lock it, the hex key. need four of these five millimeters, five by 50. We need four of these screws. We need eight of these standoffs and four of, the, four of these pulleys. Pick up this one, insert these four. And then let's go to the other side and let's insert this standoff. After the standoff, put this pulley. Then put four more standoff on each or spacer. This is the side that has the fan. So we are inserting this on top of this. Pay attention that interface is on this side. And then attach these nuts. This when this interface the connector and this is up. And now we can tighten this. This while holding it the Belt, it like this. The teeth are on this side. Tighten it like that. You will get this flat. Make sure it is flat like that. It underneath this. Take it from here. It goes on top of the motor 
like that. From here, we have to continue underneath this. Just pull it like that, make sure it is flat and then it can securely rotate. Let's pass it and then insert this five millimeter. And now we can cut this because that's enough. Oh, oh, I broke it. I hope we have an extra, hopefully. We can cut it from here because that's enough. Now as you can see this is not aligned. So I have to open the motor a little, change the shaft so it can move. if you tighten it too much it will just break that's enough and now if I slide this it moves very smoothly now let's prepare this motor and make sure that the interface is on the right side on this side get these three by eight So this piece is ready and now let's insert this and tighten it. Later on we will adjust it accordingly but for now let's just put it. So we get, this is 3 times 12 nuts, this board and this large one. Place this on this with the connector on this side. and get all these, hold this this way and insert four, four of these, turn it around and then put four spacer and then four of these. We will put the motor in here so the connector is on this side. This is like this, We're holding it like this, the connectors are here. Then let's insert this like that. 
that. And then tighten these four. Access with the laser beam in it. Uh, we need to exert, insert these two nuts. And on this axis, we will hold the one that has the motor. We will put it on top here, making sure that these two will be aligned such that we will pass it through this and tighten the screw, screw on the hex key like this. And then we will slide it, hold this like that, and then from the bottom, pass it like this. Now this is holding it like that. And then put the second screw here. And from the top, let's just tighten this into these nuts. Do the same for the second nut, for the second screw. Do not over tighten because this is acrylic and it will break. Install the belt on this Y axis, just like this. So. I'm passing it, put the belt like that in here and if you, if you push it like this, you see that the belt is getting out, so no worries, that side is, so this side is out. Now let's do this side. So it is also out. Let's put this first. Hello. Same on this side. Let's cut this excess. So the motor now is installed. But if you pay attention, the, the belt is not straight. The belt comes, bends, and goes. So let's see if we can open this a little. And then. Tighten it. Mm. 
Now it's better. And now let's get two of these and four of these five by eight. So this looks like that. The board is up and we put this in here and screw this into these two holes. And here, this is now completed, all the hardware done. And now let's put these cables. We have, we have three cables here. and it will be connected to this motor let's wrap this around this protective piece And then the sex pen will go in here. The same thing will we do for this as well. This side is small, the other side is large. The small goes on here and the larger one will go on here. So this is connected now. Now this has power and here is a switch, let's turn it on. As you can see the light is on and, and I see here red and green. Now let's connect the power and if I turn this on you will see this will turn on and the laser beam will start beaming but this will burn anything that it points to. Just turn it off from here. See here we have green and red and that's the beam so turn it off. This is now the USB is connected to my computer. I'm connecting it in here and as you can see this is turned on I will provide you with the link this is a Google Drive folder share so once you click you will see this screen and on this arrow click just wait until you receive a zip file. It takes a while, the Google Drive will create a zip. I'm saving it in this folder. You see that's the laser grbl.rar. Save it. And it is completed. But you can also get this from, if you search here online, this is a website. And you can get the latest one from here from download. You can do it but we are not doing it. We are going with a file that we have show in folder. You see now we can right click here and use I'm using 7-zip here. Just click extract to 
and it will be extracted in this folder. Now we will open that and this is the file the laser grbl.exe double click and it will run you see this update if you want to update it just click download and it will be up updated I'm not going to do that so this is the first step and now let's connect the USB this is not powered on do not worry just connect this to USB right click on the start menu click on device manager from this screen you will see ports com and lpt click on this arrow to collapse it and you should see usb serial ch340 and then the com port number in my case it shows com6 yours might be different so remember this and if you do not see this then let's install the driver go to the software click on tools install ch340 driver and as you can see install and it will be installed successfully you see it was refreshed now this is done we know this was com6 so from here click from the com port click 6 make sure it is selected 115,200 and click now because this is connected and turned on you heard that beep now the software has been successfully connected with a printer now once this is connected we have to load the configuration file the configuration file was inside this folder that we just downloaded it says disk a4.nc so go to the, this main menu grbl and select global configuration and we have to go and select this this import is now activated select import and scroll down you will see that file in here select it and open once you select it will say 34 config, uh, config imported successfully or something like that so that's done close it and the software is now ready I have this image and we are going to print it on the circle plywood because this is circle we just need a diameter and I, as I'm measuring this it seems 95 millimeters so if we print 90 you will have some margin around this so 90 millimeter now this is now this is on the red and blue is also turned on and make sure that you're connected here so this is now ready I'm going to bring this image.jpg go to file open and then select the jpg or whatever format that you have bmp for example or gif so i'm selecting it and on this screen we can select the level how distinguished it is as you can see here the color is looking just black because we have no other colors and from here if i move it you will see that the brightness will cause us cause this to be totally different disappear or adjust it whatever you want and then the contrast because we do not have level of contrast when you select that type of brightness and from here this shows which area is opaque and you can see it shows that color anything that you see is pink that's opaque which means whatever color is beneath on the wood will be revealed so this is now determining black and white as you can see here it disappears and it merges so I try to keep this this line and you see at the bottom you see all those so I don't want that I want it like this and you see this portion 
also play with this so play with these adjustments and click next and this is the most important screen from here this is the speed of the laser the slower the speed the deeper or the darker it will burn so now it means 3000 millimeter per minute I prefer 1000 or maybe 500 and from here from this icon you can select make sure that plywood is selected and this is 100% this value will change when you select different devices so ours is 3.5 you, you do not see 3.5 doesn't matter whatever you select as long as it is 100% you can control it and do not worry about the rest about the speed because we are selecting it from the other screen this is the size in millimeters so you can type whatever you want because ours is so 100 you see because this image is squared proportionally when you enter one the other will be filled up uh, and if it is rectangular also so you just need to enter one of them and the other will be proportionally calculated so you don't have to worry in our case because it is 90 millimeters so I'm entering 90 and click create and this is now the image on the screen that you see all the lines the cursor is at the moment here the laser it will move and it will run and will be printed like this now let's send this to the center when I click it goes somewhere that it treats it as center now we can move this to wherever we want and that will be our center but make sure that you have enough room here so when you point it to the center it should have enough room otherwise it will hit here and uh, will stack so and at this point we can turn this beam on by clicking on this you see it turns on and off first we have to focus it and make this as small as possible by rotating this ring so you can see it becomes very big and, and it becomes very pointy and tiny because if, if you have it something like this it will not even create burning so make sure that it is very tiny the smaller the better if I put my hand you will see it so it, while this is on find the middle in my case it will be 45 millimeters and so that is oh. so that is the middle and let's run this frame so it will create a line and it will tell you where it will print so we know the boundary that it will not go out so, so we know that now we can we can click and it will start running so let me rotate this so you know exactly how this is now it is printing this area we will see also the position here but the most important part is 
the software that you see the dot, it shows where it is being printed. It will tell you the time here. It will take around 10 minutes. If I disconnect the USB, the laser beam will turn on and it will burn anything that comes into uh, contact with that beam. So I'm going to do something here. Let's see. And now, as you can see, now this is burning. Yes, immediately, without anything. Because the USB is not connected. I just need to be very slow and diligent. I can create a shape. Let's cut a shape here. And there, I was able to cut the shape and it's still burning that spot. Let's print R. So, that's R can see we can do a lot of engraving on paper, on wood, on acrylic, but this is not powerful to cut using a 50 watt laser engraver. So that could cut this, but because the power of this is very low, it's not able to cut. It can just engrave uh, on, on this material. So for engraving text, logo, and some simple images, this is definitely a good option with a price tag of $130. It's really worth it, easy to use and not expensive. But if you want to have much more option, then consider buying more expensive items, which Banggood also offers on their website.
Thank you for watching tutorial from Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.